Hey guys, it's Kurlium with another ROM review and this time I've got the DOTOS version 2.1 Oreo for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, DOT ROM. It's been a wait, honestly. I have been waiting for this ROM because it's a great little ROM. I actually was introduced to DoD ROM on its NoGAD version on the same device and I was really impressed with how it delivered and uh, it had some really great features. So I really like that. Well, while it is right now on Oreo, I was really excited and uh, well, here we have it. First of all, this is the launcher with which it comes. It is a slightly uh, better launcher in my opinion. It has a lot more features and a lot more stuff with it. Uh, works out really well. It does uh, have all of these options which is pretty cool. And uh, you can go to their uh, credits page and this is launcher 3 and all that. So yeah, pretty good launcher. And let's get to the, uh, uh, the settings menu in the about phone page. You can see it is dot OS that is droid on time. Not really sure about the nomenclature of it, but it is what it is. Change log can be accessed from here. It is based on Android 8.1. Uh, it doesn't show it here, but uh, well, it is what it is. So uh, this is an unofficial version, so you do need to keep that in mind. Kernel is Maddie's extended kernel. I guess it's the X9 version. Um, right now, just now, the X10 was released, so uh, you can update that. This is 3.18.102, so that's really cool. Build number is this one. SNS status is permissive, so you can install all of your uh, modifications, so it doesn't really work, it doesn't really hurt it, so pretty cool. Uh, going back, it does have gesture options. You can have double tap the power button to jump to camera, so that is available. It does, it is supposed to have the dot uh, OS uh, updater, but what you need to understand is that it is an unofficial device, so yeah, update is not really supported in this regard, so that's something there. Now, dot OS, uh, everything is basically what you would remember from the dot OS in NoGAT, so it's a slightly feature rich ROM with a good battle life and a very stable ROM with aesthetics matching uh, which is slightly different aesthetics that's something there I really like the aesthetics on this one uh, I will get into that later but let's get started with the features now first of all all the features are inside dot extra so you can go for status bar options you have battery icon style you can have all of this it does have, have a square option big circle big daughter circle and uh, inside the icon outside the icon you can customize that does work out really well clock and date options are available you can customize that works out really well status bar item can be enabled or disabled it does have ULT icon you can customize that if you are not happy with it traffic indicators are available you can select the threshold of it also uplink and downlink can be customized so it's pretty cool I mean the miscellaneous extras you have double tap on the status bar to put the device to sleep and also by this control by sliding across the status bar pretty nice to have in the go back now one thing which i did notice is that you cannot press back uh, as it will go to the settings menu you need to select uh, go back option which is available here to go back to the main menu so that's one thing uh, navigation bar option you do have navigation bar this is the stock um, DUI style navigation bar you can you have smart bar fling bar all that is available nav bar tuner is available you can customize that you can enable stuff from here so that does work out really well apart from that in the quick setting styles you have a uh, brightness slider quick setting titles uh, quick pull down can be enabled smart pull down can also be enabled quick setting rows and columns can be customized it doesn't really have the small quick setting tile customization but as i've already said in my previous form review uh, you do have a script which is an adb script which you can use to do that so it doesn't really bother me anymore Apart from that, recent menu can be customized, you can customize the memory bar, you can enable clear all button and also location can be customized which is pretty nice to have. Lost screen options, you do can customize a little bit of lost screen UI, you can have all those left and right shortcuts which you can customize from here. Double tap to a lock screen uh, is available but again this is only on the top third and the bottom shortcut area of the lock screen to put the device to sleep. Lock screen charging info can be enabled, also media cover art can be enabled on the lock screen. In the system options, it has a general tweaks menu where you can 
enable app toast icon uh, all of this can be enabled and also battery charging icon can be customized which is pretty cool button options are available where you can customize the power menu what all appears in the power menu options and also back button home button and overview button can be customized this is the dui style customization so you have a lot of options here so that just work out really well one thing which i did notice is that this one also supports sound search by google uh, not a lot of roms do support that so i'm really happy about that i uh, can disable hardware keys from here so yeah volume rocker controls are available with a keyboard cursor control and also playback control control media volume all of these options are available which you can customize for your preference and it also comes with app ops which does give you a lot more options in controlling the privacy issues with certain applications so that does work out really well and that is it in the dot extra stuff in these display options you do have certain few options like uh, uh, display size and font size can be customized which is pretty cool ambient display size ambient display is available and you can customize always on and new notification not much of a customization extra than this one but it is still nice to have uh, device custom, device theme is available which is this one and also dark ui or light ui can be customized also there is a wallpaper based ui selector now i will get into the uh, theme function in the aesthetics option but uh, for now that is it in the uh, system options as i've already said do to ota does not really work for the unofficial version but hey that's not something there now in the dot center that is the ot center you have option to customize the theme here and uh, there is dark ui system overlay light and the system overlay settings overlay black accent changer is available where you can customize all the accents now this is essentially the same thing which you saw a little bit earlier which you can customize uh, and uh, it works out really well this one gives you a little bit better uh, interface I guess and yeah in the interface menu you can enable a uh, track quick setting tile color accent which will enable the same accent color you select for the quick setting toggle which is pretty cool I haven't seen that in any other ROM uh, that's pretty cool that's a unique feature which I really like and brightness uh, orange warm color I'm not really sure what this one does um, I honestly didn't feel any difference from that but it is an available option if you can figure it out good for you and uh, that much is it in the feature section of this ROM as you can see it does have a lot of features but it is nowhere near to something like uh, I, mean, I don't know unleashed OS, Z unleashed or CR droid or even liquid smooth it's not that much of a feature which ROM but it does uh, tick up all the correct feature list and I really like that it's not a feature heavy ROM but I can uh, say that any feature enthusiast will get a kick out of using this ROM and uh, that's pretty cool for the features I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for uh, this ROM because it is pretty cool now the battery life the battery life has been a pretty decent and uh, pretty good uh, setup for me uh, I've been getting a pretty good battery life with this one uh, in this recharge cycle I got uh, you can see the, the curves here and there are some flat curves so yeah idle rain is also pretty great uh, I'm not gonna say it's the best one because I've gotten better with other ROMs but uh, that is through many many recharge cycles so uh, I can't really say much about that I can get pretty much four and a half hours out of uh, screen out time from this one the active rain was about 13 to 12 percentage which is pretty good and idle rain is also somewhere in between 1.1 to 1.3 percentage which is also pretty good I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 for battle life now the performance of the ROM the performance of the ROM is uh, not the best one again uh, I've, I've already mentioned this uh, since enter the benchmark uh, application was updated I don't really have a base score for any of the ROMs I'm still working on that the last ROM which I did was liquid smooth and I got about 162 something uh, average score out of it which well considering with comparing with that this is a very low score but the average was about 151,479 which is still cool I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 but uh, furthermore just using the ROM I didn't really have much stutters here and there uh, unlike other ROMs where you get a lot of stuttering uh, when browsing through stuff and all that so that is one thing apart from that well this is the score I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 now the camera the camera package is also impressive it comes with this camera which is the snapdragon camera works out really well it has a pro mode it has a lot of things which I really do like uh, works out really well and it also comes with oxygen OS camera which is also really good if you want to use something like slow motion or you want to use uh, I don't know time-lapse pro mode again 
it does come with that it does work out but this is the older style uh, camera option which is uh, available with this one not the latest one um, no, I don't really mind that though, but I do use the G cam option. So uh, that's one thing one thing which I really do like is that the portrait mode does not require the uh, library So that does work out really well and uh, that is pretty neat to have I really do like that I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for camera because everything works and I really do like that It's an amazing package which I really enjoy. So yeah, 8 out of 10 it is for the camera now the aesthetics of the ROM as I've already said this ROM is a very aesthetically pleasing ROM it has a lot of things as you can see custom icons custom icon color it does have DOT wallpaper selector so you do have options to select their its own wallpaper selection and uh, it is plentiful there are a lot of options there works out really well I did not go for any of these wallpapers because I think the uh, stock wallpaper with which it comes is pretty cool you can see that uh, all the custom applications are a little bit themed here and there it does work out really well and I really like the music player I'm not really sure why it gives me the uh, iOS kind of a vibe here and uh, yeah I, I, I like this one and even in the about phone page of this one about page of this application it says hybrid application between material and iOS in mind so I really like it it works out really well so that's pretty much it not even a half turn for aesthetics because it is actually pretty cool one thing which i do mind is that the uh notification is not uh white it's not dark notification which i would have preferred and it is available with other rom so that's one thing now the overall experience of the rom the overall experience of the rom has been pretty great i have been using this and uh i didn't really find any fault with it one thing though uh, which I did notice is that there are a few issues where you remember in Oxygen OS forms earlier there was an issue with notifications not coming up uh, as soon as I received them. Yeah that issue is still here if I open up WhatsApp right now it will start loading up all the notifications I'm not really sure if it's happening now but it is a thing which I did notice with this form. Not really sure if those is to blame or anything like that. Why like it was on the OctinOS ROMs but that is an issue which I did notice in this ROM so yeah that's pretty much it apart from that everything seems to be working really well uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for the overall experience because it's pretty cool now let me show you guys the boot animation which is uh, pretty cool so there you have it that is DOT boot animation and uh, it's a pretty um, I mean it's a pretty boot animation and that's what I wanted to say it works it works and uh, I really do like it so yeah it goes to Android very nice right and guys there you have it that is DOT ROM the much awaited ROM is back on audio I really like it personally I might not be using it as a daily driver just because well that's not my taste I'm not really want to just go for aesthetics and also aesthetics uh, it does have full on substream support so that is another thing which you might be interested in it does have full substream support it does have fun support works out really really well I'm really happy about that uh, but again as I've already said this is not my cup of tea I like more features I like ROMs like Z Unleash I like ROMs like Resurrection Remix uh, Liquid Smooth uh, with a lot more features than what it is offering right now so yeah that's just how it is uh, the final score is at about 7.0390441 that will give it up to 7.0 out of 10 so there you have it that is the score it's a great rom and i really do like it so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye